Hi, this is Kobe Richter. I'm one of the surgeons here at Deb Lewis, and we are just very briefly talking about lubricating the eyes on our surgical patients. So this is Cora. She has just been anesthetized, um, is connected to her anesthetic machine. Before we are flipping her over, she's here for a, a spay today. So uh, she is a very healthy young patient. And because we have taken away her ability to blink on her own, we are going to use some artificial tears, uh, lubrication on both of her eyes before we flip her to where we won't be able to see her eyes very well. Um, so keys here, we're using, um, this is actually a brand new tube. Um, I already took the lid off and I don't ever want to touch the tip of the tube to the animal. Um, so I'm using my uh, fingers to just pull back her lid um, and I'll switch over here a little bit. Same thing. I, this stuff is super inexpensive. So using extra is not a bad thing at all. I would much rather be generous with it and have some of it goop down her face than not use enough of it. Or worse yet, try to be getting so close to her that I touch the metal to the animal. So we don't ever want to risk having sort of a any sort of a corneal injury with the tip of this you also do not need to smear it around i see some people that'll massage the eyeball you don't need to do that this um, the lubrication uh, in this ointment form as soon as it gets up to body temperature it actually becomes a liquid and the eye does a great job of then dispersing it everywhere it needs to be. So you, as long as it's between the lids, and I usually, as you saw, I put it kind of towards the medial canthus, so I'm well away from the cornea, um, and then let her do the rest of it. And then we're gonna flip her into um, dorsal for the rest of her prep out here. We don't usually have to reapply um, in, in a standard surgery that's gonna be less than a couple of hours in there. Um, certainly a spay is gonna be a quick one. If we were in there, uh, for a length of time and say she had an oral gastric tube pass and maybe we had some juice coming out of her mouth, we would probably flush her eyes while she's under anesthesia and reapply at that time. But most of the time, this is the only time that she'll get uh, eye lube application.